So everyone's been chasing that ultimate mitochondrial support, NAD, the energy and longevity molecule. But what actually works for raising NAD levels? You have the precursor NMN, you have 5-amino-1-MQ, and you have injectable NAD. So let's break that down. So quick NAD 101, your mitochondria need NAD to move around electrons. These are just fancy terms for helping your mitochondria, which are the powerhouse of your cells, work better. So if we're talking about everyday longevity, sorry, we usually start with the boring stuff. You want to keep your NAD levels high, sleep, strength training, not hammering yourself with junk food and alcohol and poor sleep. Now on top of that, most often people are going to start with the precursor, NMN. Giving that to your body, your body can then conveniently convert it into NAD, and that's where you have more human data, and it does seem to work on a daily basis. Bringing out the bigger tools like a 5-amino 1MQ is much more advanced. Mechanicalistically, most people like it because it's going to plug the breakdown. NNMT basically is what breaks NAD down, so if you stop that by inhibiting it, your body is going to keep more of its NAD. So you could technically inject or take the precursor, but if you're spilling it all out all the time, you're kind of working against yourself. Issue with 5-amino-1-MQ, it's not FDA approved, and it's absolutely not something I would recommend guys play with on their own. And then one of the more popular forms is going to be doing it via IV or doing it subcutaneous. My opinion, the IVs are great. They're just often more expensive. They take a lot of time and they really get like your heart rate going. It can be very uncomfortable. So most often I would say, you know, move over to doing a subcutaneous injection a couple times a week. Many people talk about feeling the benefit of staying away from burnout, getting away from brain fog and helping them overall recover better. But that's not medical advice. I'm just offering you different ways to think about NAD. If you've tried some of these methods, I'd love to hear how they worked on you. Please leave a comment below. And until next time, stay vigilant, my friends, and God bless.